Over 850 whales have been killed just this year. Um, you need to listen to this because it's going to affect our future generations and uh, it'll give you more knowledge on the you know, unjust acts against you know, this beautiful creature. Uh, first, I'm going to tell you a little history about whaling. Second, I'm going to tell you about who's to blame for it. And thirdly, I'm going to tell you how it affects us in the future. According to the Whale Watch Organization, uh, 30,000 whales have been killed since 1986, when the moratorium was first set into, uh, into motion. The moratorium is to prevent, you know, countries from or people from going out and hunting whales. Um, they were originally hunted since ninth century Spain, and uh, they were used for the meat, uh, their oil, which would light lamps, and it would go into soaps and lipsticks and uh, you know, various things like that. They would use the bone for corset bindings and buggy whips and fishing rods. Uh, the uh, countries that still whale are Norway, uh, Alaska Natives, and Japan. Now that you have a brief history on uh, whaling, why people whale, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about a uh, big suspender of whaling today, which is uh, Japan. Uh, Japan permits whaling because they say it's for, for research, uh, but the truth is that it's part of their pastime. And uh, Japan has killed uh, 300 minke whales just this year. Um, this is uh, dead Minky whales aboard the uh, deck of the Nish Nishin Maru, which is a, a Japan whaling ship. Uh, they, when they uh, kill them, they drag them up through the back of the, the boat, and on deck you can kind of see the ramp that they use. Uh, right there. Um, the Tokyo Prime Minister says that it's an integral part of their culture, that they, they just don't plan on giving up. And uh, some of the whales that they hunt are, you know, like I said, the minke whale, uh, blue whales, bowhead whales, and uh, humpback whales. Since whaling has continued uh, uh, in Japan and other countries, Oh yeah, and they, they whale for, for, for food, mostly. Uh, since it's continued in other countries, uh, there, there's an increase in uh, krill and uh, plankton. This is plankton down here, this krill up here. Uh, when there's an increase in plankton and krill, which you can see in uh, this satellite image off the coast of Australia, uh, you can see this greenish gray color of water. Uh, this is what happens when there's too much plant and it starts to turn the water green. And, uh, this happens because there's, there's not enough whales to, you know, to eat the plant and it's one of the biggest food sources. Uh, when whales are extinct, the, the climate is going to change because uh, Whales, I mean, plankton uh, produces a lot of carbon dioxide, which is going to change the climate when you know it's going to get hotter in a lot of areas, colder in others. And uh, when whales die off, I mean, we're going to lose the first no animal to grow their own money, which, which is a pretty big, uh, pretty big, pretty big deal. Um, There is, uh, you know, in conclusion, there's, there's no reason to uh, hunt whales anymore. Uh, there's plenty of other resources. You know, we don't use corsets anymore. It's not that I uh, know. And uh, fishing rods, I mean, there's tons of other types of material for fishing rods. We don't need it first. Lipsticks and our, our soaps. Uh, it's, it's not necessary. And as far as Japan, you know, using the, the uh, 
do some research, uh, other countries study whales without having to kill them. There's, there's no reason for it. And, uh, you know, it's only going to get hotter. And, uh, whales are a valuable and beautiful member of our, of our uh, ecosystem that uh, not even their main food source, plankton, <laughs> wishes to see go. <laughs> so.